We going, we going for this one. I know, but I'm just saying like. So Man, you know, refresh that joint. It has been 90 seconds. Yeah, yo, just, uh oh. You. Yeah. Yeah. From those epic NBA Finals battles to that unforgettable one-legged three-pointer, D-Wade etched his name into the books of basketball history. But as we delve into today's video, we're confronted with a truth that's both intriguing and, I must admit, unsettling. The scary truth behind Dwayne Wade's son is about to grip you, captivate you, and quite possibly leave you stunned. Trust me, you'll want to stick around to the very end to grasp its full gravity. The journey to NBA stardom is often portrayed as a glorious one, filled with shining moments and triumphant victories. However, beneath the surface lies a different reality, a path lined with trials, sacrifices, and immense pressure. And that brings us to the chilling tale we have in store for you today. We're here to shed light on an aspect of Dwayne Wade's legacy that has been flying under the radar. You may have heard of his son, Zaire Wade, who made waves on the court back at Sierra Canyon. Zaire made his own mark on the court at Sierra Canyon not too long ago, showcasing flashes of potential that instantly drew parallels to his father's game. But as of recent times, it seems like he slipped out of the spotlight. Sure, he did spend some time in the G League, showing flashes of potential and skill, and then embarked on a basketball journey to Africa. But why is it that his story isn't making headlines like it should? Now, don't even think about clicking away, because we're just getting started. The twists and turns in this tale are enough to keep you on the edge of your seat until the very last second. You see, not every rising star has the privilege of being born into basketball royalty. Zaire's got that pedigree, that lineage. But somewhere along the way, things took an unexpected turn. Now, I'm sure you've noticed, the guy seems to have gone off the grid. It's like he vanished into thin air. You might remember hearing about him when he was making waves in the G League, showcasing his skills and potential. But then, a puzzling silence followed. What happened? Where did he disappear to? That's what we're here to uncover today. The journey of an inspiring athlete is anything but a cakewalk. Dwayne Wade shared his pride and admiration for his son in an ESPN interview saying, I'm very proud of him because it's easy to give up when you're on this journey and a lot of doors have been shut and you've been told, no, you're not good enough. It was easy for him to quit, but this kid had doubled down on himself and I love that as a father. It shows me about his character, so I'm proud of him. Those are some powerful words and they give us a glimpse into the determination that runs in the family. But what happened? How did someone with such potential Someone who had a Hall of Famer as a mentor and a father seemingly fade. Keep watching and you'll be surprised. Zaire Wade is a prime example of an individual who refused to wait for his time to come. But does his proactive approach come at a cost? Did he perhaps rush into decisions that impacted his journey? These questions bring us to a crucial part of his story. Background Z Wade's tale starts in the realm of basketball royalty. Being born into the legacy of D Wade himself, the spotlight was inherently on him. You might recall his basketball days in Florida, where he showcased his potential by averaging an impressive 20 points per game. With those numbers, it was hard not to speculate that a future superstar was in the making. But a transfer to Sierra Canyon took his narrative to another level. The buzz was intense as he teamed up with Bronny James, a pairing that paralleled the iconic LeBron and D-Wade duo. Yet, this is where the tide begins to shift. An injury hit Zaire, and his points per game plummeted to under five. Playing time dwindled, and the friction between his father and the coaching staff escalated. Sierra Canyon, a basketball powerhouse loaded with five-star recruits, presented a formidable challenge. Zaire, a three-star recruit, had to face the reality of fierce competition. Moments of brilliance were shadowed by struggles, and even his father's frustration with the coaching staff couldn't alter the course. The reality was stark. The glitz of high school stardom wasn't translating as hope. After graduating from Sierra Canyon, Zaire took a pivotal step by enrolling in Brewster Academy. This move was geared towards refining his skills and enhancing his game. The ambition to ascend to the next level was palpable, but as we'll soon see, the road ahead took an unexpected turn. Dark times. The G League beckoned, the platform for emerging talents to prove themselves. Now, Zaire's decision to join the league came with its own set of dynamics. He was drafted 10th overall by the Salt Lake City Stars in 2021. Then his father's involvement as part owner of the team stirred up speculations. With minutes on the court, Zaire's stats painted a grim picture, an average of just two points per game over 19 minutes. Let's be real, that's a far cry from the stats of a future NBA player, let alone a star. I get it, we all had high hopes for him, especially when he transitioned to the G League. But let's be real, the numbers were disappointing. Sure, there were flashes of brilliance, but the overall season left a lot to be desired. Zaire might have made the wrong decision by aiming for the NBA and that coveted bag, when a different path might have been wiser. Now, here's the thing. 
Had Zaire opted for college, he would have gained those invaluable game reps, honed his skills, and gone up against players who could have truly prepared him for the future NBA competition. Skipping these crucial steps in development had consequences, and they became painfully obvious when he hit the next level. A reality check. Reality hit hard when Zaire entered the NBA G League. The G League can be brutal for the unprepared, and Zaire found that out the hard way. The transition was harsh. The pace, the style, all of it was a stark departure from what he might have been ready for. It's not about talent, it's about preparation. And sometimes, taking things a bit slower can be the smarter move. Some fingers are pointing at Dwayne Wade himself. After all, he's not just a legendary NBA figure, but also a guiding force in Zaire's journey. Did D. Wade's influence steer Zaire off course? Many are questioning this. It's puzzling that he didn't advocate for the college path, where Zaire could have gained the foundational skills he so clearly lacked. A new frontier. But where is Zaire now? Well, after not securing a renewal with his former squad, he made an unconventional move. He headed to Africa. In February 2023, just ahead of his 21st birthday, Zaire inked the deal with the Cape Town Tigers to compete in the Basketball Africa League, BAL. Oh. Created in collaboration between the NBA and FIBA, this league is making waves beyond North American shores. Zaire's choice to join the Cape Town Tigers speaks volumes. At 21, he's embracing a journey that's uniquely his. Stepping out of his father's shadow, he's making a name for himself on African courts. His move garnered attention, and Zaire is taking it all in stride. In the face of critics and comparisons to his legendary father, Zaire holds his ground. After all, he's been in the spotlight since birth, battling a year-long pause due to a knee injury suffered during his time with the G League Salt Lake City team. Zaire's resilience shines through. He's channeling his force where it truly matters, his game. Zaire sums up his outlook, telling ESPN, I just stopped trying to please critics after a while. It's a lesson in perspective that goes beyond the game. An individual's journey is personal and the opinions of others holds no sway over one's convictions. Now, with the Cape Town Tigers, we've all seen the highlights, the smooth moves, the impressive plays, but it's time to get down to the nitty-gritty. How do Wade's numbers really stack up? Let's break it down. Taking a closer look at the stats, it's clear that Zaire has been logging around 30 minutes per game, a significant chunk of playing time, and his points, they're hovering over 9.3, along with about 5 assists and 3.3 rebounds per game. Now, on the surface, these stats might seem respectable, but as we'll soon discuss, reality paints a different picture. Let's be real, Zaire's numbers aren't exactly stellar. It's crucial to stress that this isn't a dig at the league he's playing in, but when we're talking about an aspiring NBA player, the bar is set high. Averaging around 9 points and around 5 points during his earlier endeavors doesn't exactly scream NBA material. So the million dollar question looms, is Zaire Wade a bust? The reality check might sting, but let's be frank. After a considerable period on the court, it's clear that Zaire might not follow in his father's legendary footsteps. While it's true that NBA player legacies don't always transfer to their sons, the writing seems to be on the wall. Now, before the flood of accusations of negativity and hate rolls in, hear me out. This isn't about tearing someone down. It's about facing the facts. Zaire's decision to forego college might be the pivotal moment that reshaped his trajectory. In today's game, development is key, and that often comes through years of college experience. It's a vital foundation that could have made all the difference. If there's one thing we can say about Zaire Wade's potential NBA journey, it's that it won't mirror his father's path. Dwayne Wade took a traditional route, a national championship with Marquette, followed by two college seasons before donning a Miami Heat jersey. Let's shift our focus back to Zaire, a three-star prospect fresh out of Sierra King in high school. His playing time was far from consistent. What did he decide? Instead of hitting the college courts, he chose a different route. He bypassed college altogether and leaped straight into the G League. And now, he's setting on the Basketball Africa League, BAL. Oh. Zaire's journey isn't your typical basketball narrative, but he's not alone and embracing the road less traveled. Numerous players have transformed overseas experiences into successful NBA careers. Zaire Wade's journey is a testament to the evolving landscape of basketball careers. Oh, and if you're interested to see another overseas player who has been making waves around the NBA, then watch this next video, The Scary Truth Nobody Noticed About Kai Soto.